How does one do one of these videos again? It's been a while. I've forgotten. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but it has been a while. And guess what? I have another rant for you. <laughs> and I'm calling this one the Satnav rant. Now I'm sure some of you have heard me talk about Satnavs before and how much I hate them. I'm going to go into detail on this one. My first time with a Satnav, I was in my car and my brother had a Satnav with him and he said, let's use it to get us from where we are to a shopping centre called Meadow Hall on the other side of Sheffield. I said, all right then, why not? So I set off as the sat-nav was doing its thing and I'd got maybe just up the top of the hill before it said, at your earliest convenience, please make a right. I'm like, right? What? Because as you go over the top of that road, the right turn that it's talking about goes into a cul-de-sac. And then after that, there's just lots and lots of grass before you get to a main road. I thought, oh, maybe that's what it's talking about, the main road. Oh, no, 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 no. When I got to that road, it changed its mind. It was saying, make a U-turn. And I said to my brother, are you sure you put the right destination in? To which he replied with, yeah. Honest to God, the entire way to Meadowall, which took about 25 minutes, it kept telling me to make a U-turn on roundabouts. When I was getting near a road where I could turn left, it was saying, to turn left here and I'm like but middle wall's that way straight on and I kept saying to my brother please turn that thing off it's doing my head in he's like no 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 it'll work it out it'll work it out it never did this is the God's honest truth as we go into the meadow wall car park as we went up the ramp it was telling me at the roundabout at the top to make a u-turn to go back home seriously it was at that point I realized sat navs are the devil's work and I flat refused ever to own one after that. Now you might think, well that's just one experience. There's plenty more where that came from. I remember another time when I had a date, yes, a date sometimes, and I decided that because I had, I think, I don't know if it was actually Google Maps, but I had some sort of map sat nav thing on my phone at the time, and I decided to use that to get me to this place that I was meeting this woman at. Yeah, it directed me straight onto somebody's drive in front of their house. And I'm like, this isn't the pub I asked for. It was half a mile down the road. And I'm just like, Ugh. Don't worry, I made it to the date on time, just. Okay, another time I was in Edinburgh with my two brothers and my brother's fiance. This was back in April of 2015. And on the last day we left the B&B, we went over to, I think it's Queens Ferry where the fourth rail bridge is. We went for a boat ride, came back, and I said to my brothers, can I go see a friend of mine who lived only about 30 miles away from where we were? They said, okay. But to get there, we had to rely on one of our phones for a map. It got us in the general area, but the specific house number, oh no, 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 no. We were up and down a road about three or four times trying to find it. I knew what the number was, but the map wasn't telling us. So I said, screw that, just throw it away. <laughs> I'm just gonna start looking at the house numbers and eventually I found it. But I got to see my friend and eventually we left to go home. I'll tell you another time when I got really angry with my phone because I was using its sat nav. I can't remember exactly when it was, but I was on my way to Ingemel's one day. And just before I set off, I decided to check the map just to make sure that I knew the route because I, I've got it in my head. But as I was looking at it, it was saying at a certain point that there was some roadworks and that there was a diversion. I'm like, oh, right, okay then. So I decided as I got near to that area, I would use my phone to guide me. Yeah, I could have thrown it out of the window, seriously. I started following the diversions. It was taking me left, it was taking me right, it was taking me straight on. And eventually it said, take a right here. I'm like, okay. So I started going up that road and all of a sudden, at your earliest convenience, could you please make a U-turn? And I'm like, what? And I found out why, because the road it was taking me up was a dead end. Why was it taking me up there? So I did what it said, made a U-turn, gets to the bottom of the road and it said, make a right. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's the road I was going up before he told me to go up this road. So I started going up there and straight away it's telling me to make another U-turn. I'm like, what? So I did that U-turn as I'm going down the road again, he was saying make a left, back up the dead end. I'm like, 
what is going on here? I was getting so frustrated that I stopped the car, checked the sat nav, and it was, it just didn't know which way it was going. It kept like pointing this way up a dead end. And I'm like, right, you're done. I turned it off. I judged where the sun was and I followed that because, you know, Ingemels is east of where I live. And do you know something? I eventually start seeing road signs saying Ingemels. And I'm like, see, don't need it. But that wasn't the last of it on that day. Nope. On my way home, I thought, you know what? Screw the sat nav. I'm not going to take a diversion. I'm going to risk it by going through that town. And guess what I found out? Oh, there were some roadworks, but they weren't on until 9 p.m. while 6 a.m. My sat nav did not say that. So I did all that diversion and all those wrong routes and shouting at my phone for absolutely no reason at all. And it's not just when I've been in the car, I've used my phone in places like when I went to London three years ago, something like that, three and a half years ago. I think it was something like July 2017. I went with three friends and eventually they wanted to go off to Harrods. I wasn't really that bothered, so I went off to Forbidden Planet. This isn't when I got my phone out to find out where to go. I knew exactly where it was. Or I knew sort of the general area. And so I just started walking it. And eventually found it. And the same after that, I thought, you know what, I'm going to HMV on Oxford Street. So I made my way there. No maps, nothing like that. Found it pretty much straight away. However, it was when I came out of HMV, I was thinking, right, I need to get to the train station. I'm not exactly sure which way it is from here. So I got my phone out to tell me where to go. And sure enough, it had this nice little route up on the screen for me, but it wasn't telling me which direction to where I was stood. So I started moving one way and it started going the wrong way on the map. I'm like, right, I'm going the wrong way. So I turned around, started going the other way. And again, it did the same thing. I'm like, what? How? Was I supposed to do an impression of Spider-Man and climb up a building? Eventually, I just like, screw it, I'm gonna go this way and see what happens. And I've closed the phone, carried on walking, and after about five minutes, I opened it up and found that I was going in the right direction. I'm like, oh, finally. And it did eventually get me to the train station. I had a similar problem the time when I went to South Wales. I was just about to go onto the M4 and I saw a McDonald's and I was hungry. So I went there first. Now I should have just gotten out my physical map to have a look at where I was in conjunction to where I needed to be. But now I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try with my phone, let it help me. And sure enough, it was telling me, you've got to get on the M4 and go this way. So I left McDonald's, go up to the roundabout, and it said, take the first turn off the roundabout onto the motorway. Okay, so I did that. Started going up the ramp straight away, at your earliest convenience, turn off at the next junction to make a U-turn. <sighs> Seriously. So I got off at that junction, went back around, came back onto the motorway, and after that, it got me to where I needed to be. And that wasn't the only time I had a problem with it during that trip. I were in the wash facilities and they had this picture of this castle, and it was saying Brecon Beacons National Park, and I thought, hmm, I'm going to go there. It looks nice. So I took a chance, I put the name of the castle in the phone and it showed me which way to go. So I thought, right, I'm gonna follow that. And it did pretty well, it got me so far and I could see the castle up on top of this hill and I'm like, wow, it actually worked for once. Yeah. I swear down, as I was going up the lane, I could just see the car park in the distance, but there was also a road doing a turn off going down the hill and my sat nav, on my phone was telling me to make that right turn. And I was just like, but the car park's right there. Needless to say, I ignored it and went straight on. But it kept telling me to make a U-turn, that I've missed my turn. I think it was trying to get me to the bottom of the hill under the castle. I don't know. I had a few experiences with sat navs whilst I was in Los Angeles back in 2018. There was a day where I wanted to go to the beach. I didn't have a car at the time. So I thought, I'm gonna go on the buses. So I turned on my internet on my phone, went onto Google Maps and asked it to take me to a beach. And the one I put down was Huntington Beach by bus. Outside the hotel, there was a bus stop. It was saying, get on a bus here. Okay, got on that bus. And then it was telling me after about 15 minutes to get off here to get on another bus. So I did that, trusting it. 
So far, so good. Yeah, eventually it went all cucka. <laughs> the bus came, I got on it, it got me as far as a bus station and the driver said, this is the end of the line. I'm like, where's the beach? I looked at my phone, it was saying, oh, you've still got these many miles to do. So I asked the bus driver and he said, oh yeah, um, this bus doesn't go that far, it only goes to where we are now. He says, the next one will take you there. I'm like, oh, okay. But with it being a Sunday, those buses were very far and few between. So I had to hang around that bus station for a little while before the next bus showed up. And as I got onto that bus, I asked the driver, does this bus take me to the beach? And she said, yes. I'm like, great, fantastic. So I got on the bus, sat down, taking photos, filming stuff, you know, what I usually do. And eventually I found myself at a beach. I said thank you to the bus driver, got off, and there it was, all this sandy dunes and the sea and the sun blaring down and a sign saying Sunset Beach. Yeah, not Huntington Beach, like I asked for my phone, Sunset Beach. What's that all about? But it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. I actually thanked my sat nav this time around for once because it turned out to be a fantastic day. For a while I potted around the Sunset Beach, had some food, went on the beach, went into the water and then I started looking on my map thinking where is Huntington Beach from here? And it turned out it was, I forgot how many miles it said, but down, you know, south. So I thought on a whim, I'm just going to start walking. I, I'm, you know, I had no expectation of getting to Huntington Beach. I just thought I'd just have a walk down the beach. And I walked for hours and I absolutely loved it. So much in fact that eventually I ended up at Huntington Beach. So that's one of the times where even though I'm ranting about sat-navs, I actually praised it. I, I was like, thank you for that. Because, well, I didn't actually sit in front of my phone and start saying, thank you for taking me the wrong place so I could walk down a beach. <laughs> what I mean is, I was just thankful that for once, something that my sat-nav did wrong, did something right for me. I absolutely loved walking down that those beaches all the way to Huntington. Of course, in the next few days, um, because I hired a car, I'd got a sat-nav with it, which came in very handy. I did need it, but I got very angry with it. I think on two occasions. The first one being, I wanted to get to Griffith Park, where the observatory is, and when I did that walk to the Hollywood sign. So I typed in Griffith Park, and it showed me the map and everything, and so I started following it. And at one point, as I'm going down the freeway, it was saying, come off at the next junction. So I, I did that. And then it was telling me to go back on to the freeway after that junction. I'm like, what? What are you doing? I'm not kidding. That's what it did. And then it told me to get off at another turn off. And I'm like, please tell me this is the right one. And then it had me going round another turn off and then back onto the freeway. Well, it was trying to get me to go back onto the freeway, but go the other way. And I'm like... I was getting so mad with it. I'm like, will you please make up your mind? Which way am I supposed to go? And then suddenly it died. Seriously, it just shut off. It was like I'd been nagging at it, so it's giving me the silent treatment. Seriously. And I was thinking, what do I do now? So I had to pull the car over when I could, and I turned the sat-nav back on and readjusted everything, and eventually it came back on. I typed in Griffith Park again, and that time, it got me to where I needed to be. And I just couldn't understand why it did, what it did. I'm trying to think if there was... Yeah, there was another experience with that sat-nav. I used it to get me to the Vasquez Rocks. Not a problem. Got me there easily. And then I decided after I'd finished there, you know, it's too early to go back to the hotel, so I'm going to go to Thousand Oaks because I'd sort of driven through it the day before. And I remembered from... Other vlogs from years ago that people lived there and I was like, yeah, that's a place I want to visit. It took me down one freeway to take me back up another freeway. I thought it'd be just straight across, but no, it was sort of like all the way down to go all the way back up again. And then I got into Thousand Oaks and it was like, you've arrived at your destination. And I'm like, yeah, but I typed in, you know, mall at Thousand Oaks. That's what I'd actually put in. No mall that I could see anywhere. So I pulled over, typed in 
shopping mall nearby, you know, looking for a nearby one. So it started taking me up and down roads and making U-turns and there were a place where it wanted me to make a U-turn but there were a sign saying no U-turns here so I had to go to the next junction, no U-turns here and I just kept going around in circles until eventually I got that frustrated with it, I turned the blooming thing off and I started making my own way around. And lo and behold, within 10 minutes, I found a shopping mall without that blooming sat-nav. I mean, yes, that sat-nav came in handy more times than it didn't. You know, it got me to places that I wanted to go to, eventually. And I'm just thinking this video is going on a bit too long, but I've got one more for you. Just to emphasise how much I hate sat-navs. This happened when I was in Scotland in September of 2019. I know Scotland pretty well, so I don't really need to use any sat-navs. But there was one place that I'd only been to once, and I wasn't the one who drove us there, I wanted to find, called Plodder Falls. I was at the time in Drummond Drocket, so I put it on my phone, Plodder Falls, and it found a, a map and a destination, so I stuck it on my little bracket to guide me. Now it turns out that it was a pretty straightforward route, however you wouldn't think that with my sat nav on my phone. So I was following it for miles and miles, and it kept saying take a left here, and then a right here and it was pretty much straight until I was coming to a V section and there was a road going up, up left that said Plodder Falls but my sat nav was telling me to go right and I'm like no I'm going to follow that sign and I swear down swear to god no as soon as I got onto that left lane that GPS on my phone just disappeared gone it was saying lost signal or something or other and it was like trying to find where I was and I'm like, what? It was like, because I'd ignored it, just like the sat nav in that car when I was in America, it gave me the silent treatment. I mean, I did find Plodder Falls, it was pretty easy. But all the while getting there, I was just thinking, why? Why has my sat nav done this? You know what it is? It's because it's a pest, like all sat navs. And I think I've rambled on enough about sat-navs. We're feeling this is a long video. <laughs> ah well, like I said at the beginning, I've not made one for a while, so it kind of makes up for it, right? Anyway guys, it's now time for me to go. All that's left for me to say now is thank you for watching and subscribing if you have, and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. So why has it been so long since I've done one of these videos? Laziness, again. At first, actually, it was more that I had no idea of what I wanted to do, video idea-wise. And then I started compiling a list. And, I don't know, eventually I just forgot about them. Or I'd remember, and i think, oh, I'll do it this weekend, you know, film it. And then the weekend passes by and it's the next week and I'm like, crap, I forgot to film that. You know what it is? It's, it's a, the sat-navs. I've been using sat-navs to find my way back to doing these videos and it got me completely lost. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it.